Okay, so this video is on manipulating cut lines. So we just created a uh, cut line. And we're going to go to layers. So we can I'm gonna drag this up here out of the way a little bit. So we can see that we've, when we hide our artwork, we just have the cut line. Now, let's say that uh, we want this cut line to be a little bit bigger. We want we want to, to have some white peeking around this image. How do we do that? We're going to take that line. We're going to click on it. We're going to come over here to edit. Excuse me. We're going to come over here to object. And we're going to come down to path. And we're going to come to offset path. We're going to offset it uh, 0.25 inches. And we're going to click OK. What it's going to do now is create a new path. 0.25 inches outside the old path. So then we're going to come back to our old path. And say we're going to leave it for now, but we would normally delete that. But before I delete it, I'm going to grab this and I'm going to drag it down here. I'm going to duplicate it. The reason I do that is I, I like duplicating things while I'm working so that if I make a mistake, I've still got my original. So now I'm going to come back to this layer and I'm going to delete that. So now we've got this cut line. Now my, uh, it's getting a little, little pushing the edges of the artboard, so I'm gonna hit Edit Artboard, and I'm gonna go to Fit to Artwork Bounds, and it'll keep my artboard the same size. Then I'm gonna go back and click on my selection tool. All right, so let's say we like the size of this, but it's a little too sharp, got too many points. We wanna smooth this thing out just a little bit. Well, how do we do that? We go to Object, we go to Shape, Excuse me, we go to Path, and we go to Simplify. So you can go up or down. I'm going to show you the extreme. I'm going to go, I'm going to go down about three quarters. Hit Enter. Click OK. And we can see how it smoothed out our lines. So this is what it looked like originally. And this is what it looks like now. So you can see how, how our lines are smoother. And we can apply and reapply that all that we want. So our, our path, we can, um, we can simplify it. We can add anchor points, delete, remove anchor points. We can divide the object if we want. We can reverse the path direction. Uh, but the main thing you're going to want to do is offset and simplify. So uh, now that we've done that, we're going to go back to our original one. We're going to delete the outside one. So now I've got two cut lines. I've got one that's exactly my image size, and I've got one that's a little bit bigger, but not as defined. So I'm gonna take that one, I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger. So we're gonna to go to Object, Path, Offset Path, and we're gonna make it another quarter bigger. I'm gonna click OK, and so now that grew it out a little bit more. So we're gonna hide this one, we're gonna Delete that one. We're going to go to Edit Artboard. We're going to go to Fit to Artwork Bound so it grows our artwork to the size of our image. So now we have two different cut lines, but they're on two different layers. We want them both on the same layer. So I'm going to take the first layer. And I'm going to click on my cut line. And I'm going to click Edit, Copy. Then I'm going to go to my other layer. I'm going to go Edit, Paste in Place. So I have to highlight it here first. Edit, Paste in Place. Now I'm going to take this line, this one, and delete it. So now I have 
my original artwork and I have two different cut lines. So what am I going to do with these two different cut lines? Let's talk about that just a second. We're going to take this cut line and we're going to make it our kiss cut and we're going to take this cut line and we're going to make it our perf or half cut. So when we cut the sticker out, we're going to have our line right along the edges, but we're going to cut all the way through the media so that uh, we'll have a sticker ready to go. So we're going to click on this layer. We're going to go ahead and scoot that out of the way for a minute. We're going to go to Window. We'll go back to Swatches. And we've got our cut contour created, but we're going to go ahead and name that cut contour Kiss. We're going to click on that so we can see our properties. So it's cut contour kiss is a spot color 100% magenta we're going to click OK that's what we want for our inside path now we're going to go to our outside path we're going to click new and we're going to name that cut contour perf we're going to click 75, 0, 75, 0, and we're going to click OK. I always make my perf cuts 75% magenta and yellow, where it's a green, and my kiss cuts 100% magenta, uh, just so that I know what I'm looking at. And I would suggest you don't have to do these same colors, but I would suggest you pick the same colors as well. So now I've got one line called Kiss Cut Contour, Contour Cut Kiss, one called, excuse me, Cut Contour Kiss, Cut Contour Perf. It's getting late. So now when I bring this into raster link, I'm going to have two different cut lines. So I can do my Kiss Cut here, and I can do my Perf Cut here. So now I'm going to uh, go ahead and hide that. I'm going to show both. It's important. You have to have your cut on top and your artwork on bottom or raster link won't see the cut lines so now I'm going to take this I'm also going to go back to this layer now that'll work and then I'm going to hit file save as Academy logo with Cut lines, save. A couple things to remember. Under File, Document Color Mode, you do want to be under CMYK. So make sure you, you are there or you change it to that before you save it. If you save it as an RGB, uh, RasterLink will not see your cut lines. So that is it.